Sky, Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you that are cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what's next for you in love. So whether you're single, whether you're coupled up, we'll see what the next few weeks or the few months perhaps have in store for you. It is going to be a general reading, so please just be mindful of that. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle and let's begin. Okay, the King of Wands. Okay, so with the King of Wands here, I feel like there was a situation in the past where perhaps you or a connecting romantic energy wasn't ready to come forward with something, okay? Um, someone here may have had felt a very strong attraction or passion here towards you, but I felt like this person never fully expressed it or wasn't really able to come forward here and express it whether verbally vocally or on a physical level here okay to me it feels like the attraction is still there though and over the next couple of weeks perhaps even months i feel like you'll have a chance uh to reconnect with this individual but it feels like it, it feels like it's in a much more brand new energy if that makes sense i feel like someone here is coming back and to me it feels like especially with the queen of swords energy maybe you're going to hold them accountable here okay hold them accountable for their disappearing disappearing act hold them accountable for you know their lack of actions here or maybe you're taking more of an assertive kind of energy here where you're because i feel like there's a progressive direction here and i feel like someone is coming back and they weren't able to express their attraction or their feelings for you. And with the Ten of Pentacles, to me, it feels like this is someone who's cementing or solidifying a connection here. Okay, so for whatever reason, whether it was due to uh, restraints of some sort, time or distance, or maybe just that person not being ready, maybe you not being ready, maybe just the universe didn't think it was your time here. It feels like someone here is coming back or someone here is finally coming forward. They're finally stepping up. They're expressing their emotions. They're acting on their attraction and their feelings towards you here. It could also be you. Maybe you felt a little bit shy or you were a little bit hesitant or for whatever reason there was resistance in your energies. It feels, you're, it feels like you're stepping in a much more assertive and a much more confident energy here and you're a lot more in control here. Okay, And it feels like there is something that's being cemented here. There is a connection that's being solidified. There is a connection that's being, you know, cemented here between you and a connecting energy. Someone, um, and to me, even though this person has never come forward here in the past, um, or they haven't acted on their feelings, that attraction between you and this person, that's never went away. Okay, so just because they've kind of pulled back or they never acted on those feelings, it, it doesn't mean that their feelings for you have dissolved. Uh, not at all here. I'm also seeing that for some of you, there is going to be some progressive um, movement in the right direction. Okay, especially with the Ten of Pentacles. I feel like some of you are, I'm seeing that families are blending over the next couple of uh, weeks or months. Or you potentially could be meeting here, your romantic energy, their close circle of family and friends here okay with the ten of pentacles and this is their way of sort of letting you inside their circle um you know letting you like familiarizing you with their inner world okay so this is all a step in the right direction uh some of you could potentially be moving in with someone you could be playing playing house with someone here ten of pentacles it's a very um it's a very stable very sturdy kind of energy and it's a reminder that Wherever you're at in regards to a connection with someone, you're building a very strong and you're building a very healthy foundational structure. One which doesn't feel or seem shaky at all here. 
I'm also seeing that there's so much more truth that is going to be spoken here, whether you're single or whether you're coupled up here. It just feels like you're a lot more upfront about what it is that you want, the type of a relationship you want, the type of a connection you want, the type of people you want to attract. It feels like you're ordering from the catalog of the universe and you're not accepting anything less. You're not selling for mediocre here. Um, you're not compromising, okay? You are not lowering, lowering your standards for anybody or anything. And it's good because it feels like you're a lot more in control here, okay? And our thoughts do create our reality. And essentially, to me, it feels like because of this Queen of Swords energy, you're essentially attracting um, what it is that you want. And, you know, you're not... To me, it feels like you're not shy about being very upfront, about your emotions or about, you know, your intentions with somebody here. Or this this may be a connecting energy that is kind of stepping in this energy field where there you'll notice that this person is going to be a lot more assertive, okay? They're a lot more directive here and they'll be a lot more expressive. They'll be communicating to you, um, you know, their intentions or their motiv motivations for you and for a connection here. I'm also seeing even if you're single, I feel like if you're out there, you know, if you're putting yourself out there and if you're looking um, or even if you're meeting and forming new connections, you are coming across as very confident. You are coming across as someone who is, you know, um, who isn't afraid to speak her truth, his or her truth, much like the Queen of Swords here. Uh, the Two of Pentacles, I feel like you're going to have more than just the one romantic partner here. At, uh, in the next couple of weeks or months, I feel like for some of you, you're, you, you potentially could also be juggling between two very different, though both potential, okay, both holds promise and both connections hold potential here. But to me, it feels like, and look, maybe you're wanting to keep your options open. Maybe you want to, you know, um, date multiple people at the one time, but it feels like you're juggling between either two different lovers or you're just juggling between, you know, a handful of lovers and you're kind of just trying to decide here. But you're having fun. I feel like your dating life is going to be buzzing with a lot of activity. I feel like there's a lot that is keeping you engaged. There's a lot that's keeping you busy here as well. I feel like you're having a lot of fun. Two of Pentacles is a frivolous kind of energy. I don't know that a lot of people... Um, like, I don't know that a lot of you are looking for some commitment. Some of you are, but even so, you're taking a light-hearted approach. Like, for example, there may be a connecting energy that you might meet, and it might begin, uh, it might start off as a casual arrangement, and, you know, you might not be looking for anything serious. But as time goes on, and as the two of you get to know each other, you feel like, okay, there's room for so much more in this connection. And what might begin out as a casual arrangement, or, you know, just so no strings attached, will then eventually, you know, become a relationship or a loving, committed um, partnership of some sort. But I definitely feel like you're just having a lot more fun with it and you're just so much more in the moment. Um, you're not putting pressure on yourself and that is putting a lot of things at ease for you. And that's a kind of a good energy because you're letting things flow. You're letting things be fluid. And, you know, when you let things sort of flow through you and flow to you, like a magical thing happens, okay? Things start unfolding naturally, organically, and very fluidly for you here. Um, the moon card here, I do feel like for some of you, I'm seeing a stage here where you're going to enter a lot of confusion here, a lot of uncertainty. That could be because you're going to have to decide between two very different uh, romantic energies. That could be because you might be questioning whether or not you, you know, you're questioning your feelings or you're questioning... Um, someone's motivations here or you know whether they whether or not they have a gender it just feels like you're entering this state where perhaps also like the deeper you get into a connection here you might find that there are some emotional triggers here or there are certain some like certain insecurities of yours that inhabit your energy and they're going to rise up to the surface here Try whatever you do, don't try to avoid it. Whatever is coming out into the surface does so because it was at one point or another, it was very deep in your subconscious. So don't try to avoid it because that's only kind of fixing the symptoms, right? It's not fixing the root of it. Um, so try and get down to the bottom of it. Whatever it is that surfaces for you or whatever emotional triggers or emotional buttons are being pushed here, guys. I feel like by the end of, I'm going to say by the end of March, maybe? I'm seeing that 
there's someone in your life here whom you're going to share a very special connection here and you're going to um, you're going to care about this person deeply and there I feel like this is someone who's also very invested in you okay someone who's really invested in getting to know you in building a relationship with you and I feel like this is an energy that wants something long term with you I see this person pursuing you very um, actively I feel like this is someone who is going to really commit to the idea of you and commit to building a connection with you and that I feel like that's going to happen in the next couple of months okay you're really going to and you might feel like you're single and you have no one. So it might not necessarily resonate with you at this point in time. But I feel like someone is going to come in. And in sh such a short amount of time, you're going to both really care deeply about one another. Alright guys, so these are your messages. So thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing and subscribing. If you are after a personal tarot reading, feel free to connect. Otherwise, bye for now.